I'm going to teach you how to fix the lagging and stuttering animation that you get in CS2 demos. Player models probably look like that, right? Well, with one setting, I can have them looking like that. Setting off. Setting on. All right, let's get started. I want you to go to advancedfx.org. This is a program called Half-Life Advanced FX, H-L-A-E. This is gonna be the program that helps you fix lagging animations and demos. Okay, we go to download. Then let's come up to the top one here, current release. Now what we wanna do is there's a bunch of different options. I just want you to click on Half-Life Advanced FX setup.exe. All right, you saved it to your desktop. I want you to double click on the icon, Half-Life Advanced FX. You're gonna get this. Windows is basically doing its job. It doesn't recognize this app. Half-Life Advanced FX is a hack for lack of better words, okay? It, it hooks into uh, Counter-Strike much like a cheat does, okay? And because it injects itself into a program, uh, Windows thinks that it's a bad kind of app, a bad kind of software. It is not. It's been around for um, 19 years at this point, I think 2005. The uh, industry professionals uh, use it all the time. So we're gonna click uh, run anyway. For first time installers, and especially if you're gonna use Half-Life Advanced Effects to record, I'm going to suggest installing FFmpeg. So let's leave this clicked and let's click install. You could probably just keep it at this setting here. Let's click next. And say you do have FFmpeg installed already, just reinstall it just in case you have an old build. Let's click next and let's click install. After that somewhat lengthy downloading and installation process, FFmpeg should be installed. All right, let's click finish. And then we're gonna click next because now we're gonna start installing Half-Life Advanced Effects. You can ignore these bottom two, click typical, all right, and then click install, and then it should install relatively quickly. All right, close. What I want you to do is I want you to hit your Windows key. It should be under recommended, but you can also just type in Half-Life Advanced Effects. All right, let's launch it with Counter-Strike 2 now. All right, so go to tools, go to developer, hit custom loader. All right, so we have some fields to fill in first. All right, so under program path, click on browse. Now I want you to navigate over to your Steam folder, okay? And then once you go to Steam apps and then common, and then Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And I want you to go to Game, and then Bin, Win64, and I want you to come down here to CS2.exe, okay? Double click on it. Awesome, that'll fill that in, all right? Now we wanna inject some DLLs, okay? I want you to go to Browse. Now you're gonna navigate to your Half-Life Advanced Effects folder if it doesn't automatically pop up. It'll be in your program folder, all right? And then we're gonna click on X64, and you're just gonna double click on AFX hook source two. There should be some command lines that are already here, but let's just go over them real quick. All right, you wanna do minus steam, minus insecure, plus SV underscore LAN one, and minus console. Those will launch Counter-Strike 2 in insecure mode, offline, so you can't possibly connect to a VAC secure server and get banned. So this is this is gonna save your ass. And then minus SW basically launches in window mode. Minus Novid should turn off the video, theoretically, when you launch Counter-Strike 2. It hasn't been working, so you can either take it or leave it. But an important one is minus AFX disable Steam storage, okay? This will basically prevent Half-Life Advanced Effects from overwriting your, uh, your gaming config. Let's click OK. All right, I want you to bring up the console by hitting the tilde button. That's that little symbol there. It's under your escape key. All right, then I want you to hit type in play demo and a bunch of demos should pop up. Just pick one. I'm going to pick this one. All right, now as you can see, the animations are very laggy, right? That's, you're probably all used to that, all right? I'm going to teach you how to fix it now. All right, hit the console, just that tilde button again. And then what I want you to do is type in merv underscore fix animations one okay play the demo and boom you now have smooth animations and smooth player models that's it it was that simple all right if you have a config i suggest throwing merv underscore fix animations one into it so it just automatically executes when you launch your config all right cool if you have any questions throw it in the comments below i've got a patreon if you want to buy me a coffee or support the channel anyway it's in the description of this video feel free to donate or subscribe i've got tier services that offer um, some great perks. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. And I uh, can't wait to see you in the next one.